in five, four. What's up, patrons? You know who I am. You know where you're at. Today, I am reacting to Mike Shinoda. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that right. Can't hear you now. And Joyner Lucas, Your Heart featuring J. Cole. These are, this is Jake's double shot. And that's all we need to know. Let's just get into this and check it out. Yeah, run, run it back, tell him what I'm coming at I was on that bullshit then, now I'm done with that Scared of what I didn't want, scared of what I wanted And thought that I was finished, but I hardly had begun In fact, I'm a beast, I'm a monster, a savage And any other metaphor the culture can imagine And I got a caption for anybody asking That is, I am feeling fucking fantastic Some days it doesn't take much to bring me down Some days I'm struggling for control All right, 59 seconds in. I'm digging this. At first, I was saying, okay, it's just going to be a, kind of a typical rap song. Not not the cookie cutter rap shit. Just carrying that rhythm going. But then when it got to the chorus, and it kind of switched to like a little bit popular sound or R&B, whatever makes you feel better. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. I like that. I like that mix that it's not, you know, he's mixing it up. It's not the same thing because y'all should know by now. If it's the exact same thing all the way through, I'll lose interest. And I just, no matter what's being said or how much I'm digging it. But it's a relatable material because, I mean, sometimes it don't take much to just knock down. It's like playing Jenga. You pull out that one piece and the whole damn thing crumbles down. You can call. I think I'm probably pausing it in the wrong spot, but so with the verse, I know it's the first time and then the second time I want to make sure for saying thing. I would I would like it better with a little more clarity. I understand what he's saying, but it's not just super clear to where I'm like I'm actually having to pay attention. I mean, doing this, I have to pay attention anyways. But if I was just listening to this for my own enjoyment. I don't like when I can't understand what they're saying and, or that I have to focus on what they're saying. I, I get what he's saying and I can relate to it and I dig it, but it's something to deliver. Oh, it's not even the delivery. It's the mix. I think uh, it could be his speech pattern that's messing it up for me, but I'm not sure because when he does the chorus, it sounds just fine. So I, I'm not sure what's going on there. But, it's a little off for me, but I'm not hating it. I'm enjoying the song. Like I said it's relatable and I like the mix, but or the contrast between verse and chorus, but it's that it's the way the verse is being delivered. It's, it's just a hell for all I know. It could be my old ass ears. So you can call.
somewhere far away where you can't bring me down so i can't hear you now i can't hear you now so you can call Okay, so I like the song, and that's how I am. That, that, they can't. Hear, I don't let negative people bring me down. Uh, occasionally, they'll say something that I'm just so out there that it kind of pisses me off. It's not usually to me because, but once I close the door on someone, it's done. I do not speak to my biological brother. I haven't for years. I couldn't give two shits less. Same thing with my biological father. So, no matter how loud they were screaming, if they were, even if they were outside my house, I can't hear them. I would not open the door. So, I can relate to that, you know. And, and it's with other negative people and negative things, too. You're not going to bring me down. So, overall, I like the song and the message is very relatable for me. But, like I said, those verses, it's just the way it was delivered. It, I think it could have been done better, like clearer. So, uh, I have to do this before I start the next song. It's kind of hot here today. I'm thirsty. I wanted to drink during the song, but I wanted that to pop up. So here y'all actually see me doing it. Yeah. I'm not interrupting the song. Well, moving on. Joyner Lucas, who I love, and J. Cole, I'm hit and miss with. But it's your heart, the official video. Mm. I'm sorry. 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 Yeah. I broke your heart, huh? Yeah. You knew I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? Uh. You should've listened when it said I was a dog, huh? Yeah. You should've listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? Right. That's what you thought, huh? I left you scarred, yeah. huh? You'll never be the same again, put that on God, yeah. huh? I took your heart and then I tore that shit apart, huh? I fucked you over, did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, yeah. You say you hate me, but I know that this your song, yeah. Angry Texas, we don't never get along, yeah. We been rocking with each other for so long, yeah. Maybe that's why it's been harder to move on, yeah. And you changed too. And your mama and your friends, they gonna blame too. And you hate it when somebody say my name, ooh. Every time you hear my name, you wanna drink, ooh. ooh. You wanna go out, you wanna get drunk, you wanna get lit, lit. You wanna get crazy, do everything that you never did. You wanna get bent, you wanna revenge, you wanna get dick. But you ain't about that life, so you might fuck a bitch. You might, you might break a window. You might do some wild shit out of impulse. You say that you hate me and we not involved. But you still checking on me, trying to find info. I know I broke your heart, huh? You knew I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? All right, since he's just started repeating it, uh, that's as good time as any uh, because you all know how I feel about that. The whole, I know people, and I know from a uh, psychological standpoint that that type of behavior can be very satisfying and release, help you release demons and shit to get through stuff. I get that, but I'm not that person. Usually if I break something, it's mine out of anger. But I'm mad at what I break, not... I, I don't... I don't go into that breaking other people's shit. You know, that one... What's her name? I had that big hit uh, about tearing up her boyfriend's truck. Uh, next Time He Cheats. I think it's called Next Time He Cheats. Can't remember her name. Miranda Lambert, maybe? Oh, who knows? Anyways, neither here nor there. You either know or you don't. Uh, you know, I know that's a thing. I've had friends, their ex-girlfriends have burned all their clothes. And they're like, well, I still love her. Nah, fuck that shit. 
Uh, but I, so I get it, but I don't. I'm not that kind of person, so I'm not down with that at all. If it's over, regardless of what, just fucking leave. That's how that goes. But destroying all their shit, that's not going to change what happened. Like I said, I know psychologically, it can make you feel better. I do not encourage that behavior. Just in case YouTube's listening, and I'm not being irresponsible. You should have listened when it said I was a dog, huh? You should have listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? That's what you thought, huh? I let you scar, huh? You'll never be the same again, put that on girl, huh? I took your heart and then I tore that shit apart, huh? I fucked you over, did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I hate a fuck nigga, used to be a fuck nigga Couldn't even blame her if she did fuck niggas You run your bitch through the mud, you deserve that So you can feel it for yourself where it hurt at What goes around comes around, I know you heard that While you was creeping, tell me did it not occur that This nigga sliding in the DMs every AM, every PM Used to be like automatic, she would curve that That was before when you was loyal, now it's thirst traps On a profile and niggas know how to Spot a chink in your armor, you been tripping, dawg Yeah Ain't been keeping your promise, you been pimping, dawg Now bitches wink in your comments, she suspicious, dawg And now you reaping your karma, she got niggas, dawg Calling her phone while you gone and your bitch ass Can't even feel no way, cause you doing her the same Now you know the pain, and what used to be the dynamic duos and flames And you too proud to see that you hold the blame From all that playing, nigga, we too old for games Man. You broke her heart, huh? When you met her, she was young and hella pure, huh? Ain't had no clue that she was fucking with a dog, huh? You never thought you'd see the day that she was gone, huh? But you was wrong, huh? Yeah, you was wrong, huh? Cause now it's later, she ain't answering your calls, huh? She VIP, she out here fucking with the stars, huh? Some other nigga got her, now he about to spoil her You could've spoiled her, hey, but you starved her, yeah, yeah So there we go. I didn't, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't listen to it if it came on the radio. And it's weird because I liked everything in the song. I liked the mix. I liked the, the topic. Uh, but something about Joyner Lucas's delivery in the first verses, well, verse because he repeated it, it just kind of fell flat. And that's weird that I like him better than J. Cole, but I liked J. Cole's part better in the song. And granted, as playing devil ad, devil's advocate, here's the other side of this dude. And I know guys like that in real life, they get upset, they cheat on their girls, and then when the girls cheat on them, they get all pissed off and act all stupid. That doesn't make sense. You did it to her. Like you said, what comes around goes around. Hey guys, there you go. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. I hope you have a great day. Make someone laugh if you get the chance. Don't forget to tell your friends and family each and every time you leave that you love them. Because you just never know. And that's going to be the last chance you get to tell them. Be safe, guys. Till next time, you know who I am. You know where you're at. Or where I'm at. <laughs> well, y'all know where you're at, too. Damn it. There you go. There's a blooper at the end. Peace.